I just got an aura ring. Here is everything you need to know. The timeline, sizing kit, unboxing setup, and my first full week with it. I will also be updating you after a full month. Subscribe and stay tuned. My sizing kit just came in the mail. I placed the order the night of February 25th. It processed and shipped the next day, the 26th. It is now the 29th, happy leaf day, and it's here. This is what the sizing kit looks like. There's some information on the inside of the lid. I think I would be a size seven maybe. Apparently for the most accurate reading, you want it on your pointer finger. I am worried though if my fingers definitely swell during walks and workouts, but I don't know if that would be too loose. See, that sucks. <laughs> but the point of it is they're just these little plastic rings. There are bumps on the insides. I'm assuming that's supposed to indicate where like sensors are and stuff so that you can pick the most accurate size and so that this replicates the ring as well as possible. There is a sizing video. I think this should help me out. Welcome to Aura. Your Aura sizing kit will help you pick an optimal ring size that ensures maximum accuracy and comfort day and night. We recommend wearing your Aura ring on your index finger. The sensor bumps inside the ring should be on the palm side of your finger. Your fingers expand and contract during the day based on your environment. So we recommend wearing your ring sizer throughout the day for at least 24 hours. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and wear this for about a day and then tomorrow I'll choose my size and they'll ship the ring exciting it's only been like 20 minutes but i just washed my makeup brushes and this thing is like so loose right now so i am gonna go ahead and put the seven on for the rest of the day and see how it feels i just worked out with my little ring sizer on i did weightlifting and a little bit of cardio and i feel like my hands swell so much when i work out and i feel like the size was good so i'm gonna go ahead and place the order for the actual ring i also feel like it wasn't that hard to hold dumbbells in the barbell actually so my ring ended up shipping friday march 15th and it just arrived here today monday march 18th so once they were able to ship it out it came fast we have this cute little box here it's so clean and minimal the box totally reminds me of an apple box very modern oh my gosh I'm so excited here's the ring I got the aura gen 3 heritage silver ring if money was no object I probably would have gotten the newer one and gotten it in gold but these aren't exactly cheap especially if you get the gold finish it adds on hundreds of dollars so on the aura ring website the price ranges from $2.99 at the very lowest all the way up to $5.49 depending which version of the ring and which finish you choose however each person that has an aura ring has a referral link which does give you $40 off I was like enough that someone referred me and I was able to save $40 so mine cost $2.59 and then plus shipping and tax I was really annoyed that shipping wasn't free because usually with a more expensive purchase like in my head shipping should just always be free so that was kind of annoying there is a 30-day return policy I did in fact get the cheapest one but I'm a fan of mixing metals so I'm totally fine with it even though I do prefer to wear gold jewelry if we carefully take the ring out we take this out we have the charging cable here I'm there we go. I'm trying to be gentle. Manual and papers. I'm assuming this, what the ring was sitting on, is actually the charger. Yes. Okay. So this cool little thing is how it charges. Plug the cable in and it goes into the wall. I'll just have to grab one of my cubes for this. Here's an up close. As you can tell, it is very shiny, very fresh and clean looking. I really don't want to get it dirty at all. And then you can see on the inside all of the little things in there that make it operate. So as you can notice, this does kind of have that flat edge, whereas the newer one or the other version, I should say, the more expensive version is completely rounded. But one of the reviews pointed out that the flat edge helps you remember how the ring should sit. So I kind of do like that about it and then in here it also tells you how to situate it charge it just a quick little pamphlet this one has all the details of course but let's go put it on the charger when you plug the charger in it does light up and now it's charging I've heard the charge time is really quick of course then you have to go ahead and finish setting up your account create a password choose your membership plan and then you can sync your ring to your phone it does connect via Bluetooth super easy super fast and then you'll enter in some personal information it does connect to your health app so just make sure you turn on all of the health data then you'll select a few things so your ring can better know your circumstances and your goals select the workouts you normally do and it's done it 
it'll introduce you to each tab of the app and you're ready to go. The light turns green when it's fully charged, so I'm gonna finally go ahead and put it on. It said the most accurate reading is on your index finger, so when I got the sizing kit, that is the finger I tested. And the flat part, which is really not that flat and that noticeable, but the flatter side, if you get this ring, should be facing up. And you can see the light, it's like thinking, connecting. It's very shiny. I even got a notification telling me it's fully charged, so that's kinda nice. I'm going to work out, however, today is just cardio. I'm not doing strength training or anything, so pretty straightforward. I'm gonna wear the ring. My fingers swell like crazy on cardio day, so that's the only thing that I'm really thinking about, but I'm so excited. I just got back, I did 12 through 30, and then I kept walking for a total of 50 minutes, kind of like slowly lowering the incline. I walked a total of two and a half miles, and I was kind of confused because before I started, it said, you haven't added any workouts for the day, and I was like, well, how do I add a workout? So I was like clicking around, and I couldn't figure it out, so I was like, whatever, I'll just like start walking and see what the app says. On the homepage, you can click the plus button in the bottom right corner and add your workout. It allows you to pick from so many different types of workouts, or if you start working out, a lot of times it'll like pick up on it, and then you can can confirm your exercise later. It updated, you know, my steps, my calorie burn, whatever. Obviously, I started this like later in the day, so it's not my total for the whole day. Tomorrow will be a better measurement on my whole day's activity. But otherwise, like my fingers swell, but it really doesn't bother me. Like it doesn't swell too much. When I had the ring sizer on, I like worked out with it on and you know had my fingers swell to make sure I had the right size, all of that. So the real ring right now is like totally fine, still shiny, still doing well. I didn't feel it. It's very lightweight. Like, things are good. Cardio day with it, good. Tomorrow we lift, that'll be another story. So the Aura Ring is water resistant up to a certain amount of meters. I believe it's 100 meters. And I think my routine, because it charges fairly fast and I do wanna wear it to bed, I think my routine is gonna be, I put it on the charger just when I shower because it doesn't need to track anything while I'm in the shower, right? But I am gonna wear it today just so you can see like, hey, it's waterproof, it's fine. It can hold up in the shower. It didn't feel like it was in the way of anything. It also also, it's fine when I'm applying skincare products. If I was doing lotion all over my body, I would take it off because I feel like just rings in general, my lotion gets trapped under it. There's not much to say. It survived just fine. It's already pretty dry. My app didn't like notify me of anything. Still on and going, so yeah, I'm assuming it's good. Water resistant. I guess I don't know if people that like swim for exercise would swim with it on. I don't do that. I will be swimming in the summer, but I feel like I'd probably want to take it off. I guess I don't know. So I had my first night with the Aura Ring. It definitely wasn't annoying to sleep with. I do find that when I wake up, my fingers are a little swollen, but it doesn't feel like extra tight. Like it wasn't annoying. I didn't really know it was there. It was totally fine. My first like sleep analysis is there in the app. My like readiness that it gives you after like your night of sleep is all there, which is super interesting to read. Duncan actually barked like in the middle of the night and obviously it like woke me up and I was like, like freaked out, like jump scare, you know? It's super interesting because if I look at my heart rate, there is a point between two and 4 a.m. where it like shot up there and I'm wondering if that's when it was. But so first night was good. We'll talk way more analytics at the end of the week. However, I'm about to go work out. And one of the main things I was nervous about because it is so shiny, like I've been looking at it yesterday, today. The finish is really nice. Like it seems good quality. The ring really is so shiny. That being said, I weight lift typically four to five times a week and I don't want this to get all scratched up and like dinged up from the dumbbells, the barbell, etc. So I searched on Amazon for a ring like sleep protector. I was like, this has to be a thing. It has to be out there. And I only really found like one result on the first page. I didn't dive deep and it only had 13 reviews. It's free returns anyway, whatever. Let me go ahead and try it. So I ordered them. The options were black or clear, like transparent. However, the transparent ones wouldn't get here for a few weeks. They must have been on back order. So I just got a pack of two black ones. There's only two different sizes available. This is the small and it says it fits sizes like six through 10 or something something, but it's just kind of this like stretchy silicone that's supposed to help protect your ring from things like weightlifting. So I'm gonna try to put it on. Oh, that actually wasn't that hard. It hugs right around the ring, which is nice. Like you can tell the edges come in and wrap around so that it's secure. It feels totally fine. It's comfortable, it's slippery. It also didn't have a hard time getting over. You know how the top of my ring is technically flat because I have that version. There was no issues there. It seems like a nice little easy fix. I don't typically work out with rings on. It honestly doesn't feel bad, like it doesn't feel chunky or in my way, and the sleeve really helps me feel like it's protected. I like it.
using my wrist straps and doing something like RDLs, my ring is definitely squeezed on my finger more just because I'm like squeezing so hard on the dumbbell and there's pressure, but it doesn't hurt. It's not difficult. I don't think it's like damaging the ring. It's all been really smooth. I expected it to be more uncomfortable and more difficult. Using the barbell with my ring felt the same as the dumbbells. Like, it was good. Better than I expected. A little update, so I put my Aura Ring on on Monday around 2 p.m. and I wanted to see how long the battery would last. I put it on fully charged. It is now Sunday, just about to be 10 a.m. and it gives me a notification telling me to charge it, which is nice, but I checked and I have 5% left. So I am gonna go ahead and put it on the charger, but it literally lasts almost an entire full week, like almost an entire seven days, which is so nice. Although I woke up and my ring still had 5% battery, it actually didn't calculate my sleep from the previous night. Night, but it didn't die so I was a little confused by that I'm wondering if it needs just a higher battery percentage in order to calculate everything but so even though it technically lasted until approximately 10 a.m. Sunday I definitely should have charged it the day before so that it could gather my full sleep data so that is a note so even though the ring was still on it missed out on some things it's super easy to just charge it throw it on the charger when I hop in the shower for a few minutes that's no problem and it's nice that it gives you a reminder I think it gave me a reminder 20% it gave me a reminder just now like hey charge it before you go to bed girlfriend or you're not gonna get data so I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on the charger and I'll let you know how long it takes to charge great battery life I just took my ring off the charger it is fully charged and it is 11:30. however I wasn't watching the clock I've been sitting on the couch and editing so I don't know exactly how long it took but if I plugged it in just before 10 it definitely charges in less than an hour and a half I didn't get a notification when it was fully charged so my bad we're at 100% now into the app here's everything that it has to offer it does take a few days from when you first get the app to understand like your daily stress levels calculate your HRV things that take a little bit of time so after a few days it can and really gather information and of course the longer you have it the more insight it will give you the more it will know your body right so if you click on the app it updates every time you go on which is nice right away it has my activity goal it calculates your goals based on your readiness so like your sleep and other variables that your body is telling it so you know if you barely slept all the night before it's not gonna have this crazy high activity and like step goal calorie burn goal etc on the home page sometimes it'll have new things pop up so for example mine says introducing sleep latency and it'll tell me what that is give me a little bit of insight into what each thing means which i am still learning remember i've only had this for a week okay we go down we have daytime stress this metric wasn't available for me until i think the first five days were up but that is really good insight especially because i feel like i'm overwhelmed all the time so i would just like to know be aware like when i need to chill it out cool it down, take a step back, reevaluate. you know? Has my heart rate, I did some walking after my weightlifting today, my readiness, how ready I am for the day, how was my sleep last night, when I go to bed, and then there's more things. So explore, you can refer a friend, and a blog at the bottom. If you click the tab, of course you have your profile, it'll say the variables you filled out in the beginning, your goal, how your sleep is, what affects your sleep, and then it has all of your personal information. Trends, pretty obvious. <laughs> Whatever you wanna click on and find out, really. Circles is something I haven't done yet. From my understanding, it's similar to how an Apple Watch you can kinda connect with friends. Explore, there's a lot of resources on here I have not taken advantage of yet. So there's meditation, breathing, sleeping, and then you can learn as well. So there's a lot of different videos and things to follow, which is really cool to just kinda have this all in one little app. And it's just fun that I can go on my Aura Ring and it can give me a little like meditation practice instead of, I don't know, searching a random video on YouTube, which is fine, but it's just, I don't know, it's just nice and convenient that it's on here. There's rest mode, designed for days when you need to rest. Maybe you have jet lag, you have an injury and illness, and you can turn on rest mode. So it's all devoted to taking it easy, you aren't given an activity goal, and a lot of things are paused. Blood oxygen sensing, basic settings, help, and refer a friend. The other thing on the main home screen is that plus on the bottom right corner, which I kind of showed you before, which allows you to add a workout, but it also allows you to record your heart rate, add a tag, or do an unguided session. Again, I haven't taken advantage of these yet. That will be coming more in my month long update. Readiness, 
So it tells me my resting heart rate, heart rate variability, so how much it fluctuates, body temperature, respiratory rate, readiness scores, and then there's all the contributors that goes into my readiness score and how they get the score of 85, which is mine today. Then it will have more details, so my lowest heart rate from my sleep, average HRV, a graph to go with it. Next, tab into sleep. I have a day missing because of when my ring died. <laughs> so your total sleep, your time in bed, sleep efficiency, resting heart rate, your score, of course, and then there's the sleep contributors that make up your score. More details and graphs, which are nice to dive in if you want to find something out. Next tab is activity. So again, your goal progress, total burn, walking equivalency, and steps. I personally really just want to keep an eye on my steps and recovery. My workouts and stuff, like I'm just not super into tracking my workouts other than my steps. I don't know, because I'm following a plan. I really like it. I feel good doing it. I don't feel the need to record every little calorie burn, but I do like to have a step goal and an activity goal to keep an eye on movement. You know, I'm really into weightlifting these days, but I need to remember to move throughout the day. So that is really the only thing that I need for that. And I just like how this is set up. So we have our activity score and then all the contributors that go into your score that make it up. A graph to show your daily movement and it shows my most recent walk. It will alert you to move every hour if you are stagnant. Mine says zero alerts right now because it has not alerted me because I have moved at least once every hour. But that is another thing that I do really like that other trackers have is just a notification that's like, hey, get up, stretch your legs. If you're sitting at your desk, whatever, it is important just to get up at least once an hour. Then we have resilience. It says resilience is your ability to withstand and recover from psychological stress. I actually don't have access to this just yet because it takes approximately two weeks to calibrate my baseline and then go from there. The Aura Ring also links with Natural Cycles, which is a super cool birth control app. It's also membership based and I do not currently have an account, but I am thinking about it. It seems like a really cool thing. And then my general overall thoughts after having it for one week, honestly, Overall, I really like it. Right away, I do have to say, it is really annoying that there is a monthly fee, a monthly subscription. For example, you know, like the Apple Watch doesn't have that. And I know more and more things are gravitating towards that monthly subscription model, but I think it's stupid and kind of BS. And why do I have to pay $6 a month to access my own data? type of a thing, it's kind of annoying. When the Aura Ring was really new, this wasn't a thing, and I think those people got grandfathered into never having to pay the monthly subscription, but that is no longer the case. It is now $5.99 a month, or you can pay $69.99 for the year. I basically wanted this because I wanted something a little more mild than an Apple Watch. I used to have an Apple Watch. I stopped using it after a bit. I don't need all of the metrics it gives me. I didn't really like the whole closing my ring saying. I also didn't want to wear a watch every day, and I didn't want a screen. So I was like, okay, what can I get that doesn't give me a screen? The Whoop band thing, for example, does not have a screen. However, I definitely gravitated more towards the ring just because, number one, it looks like jewelry. It's cute, it's lightweight, it's super easy, and I don't know, it, it looks like jewelry. The Whoop, like, it looks like an athletic band. You know, I didn't, didn't want that. I love how it has no screen, so I'm just so less addicted to it. You know, it's not like a toxic thing in my head. And the metrics are way more geared towards recovery than working out and stuff even though it does track like your steps and things like that for me personally I follow a workout program I really really love it but I don't care to track every little detail about it however I want to be reminded to move throughout the day that's very important to me and oftentimes I don't know where I stand did I hit my 10,000 standard steps or did I barely move at all? Like it's it's hard for me to gauge that. So I do really like that it has some of those metrics. Also, sometimes I don't sleep great. So I don't know how much to push it the next day when I don't. And I know how important rest and recovery is for your physical goals. And I wanna know if I should be doing more of that stuff in order to kind of see more results and things like that. I do really like that it calculates your goals based on your sleep and your recovery and how ready your body is. And it's not a standard day to day, especially because for example, for a woman throughout her cycle, she's not gonna be the same level of ready every single day, even if she gets, for example, the same amount of sleep every single night. You know, you fluctuate a lot throughout the month and that is something I try to pay attention to and listen to my body and stuff like that. And I do think the Aura Ring is a helpful tool to use with that. One thing I've noticed and I really like is I really wanna make an effort to move every hour. And I wasn't really sure if I was doing that. I kind of just assumed that I wasn't. However, my Aura Ring has very, very rarely had to remind me to get up 
and move and since it sends those reminders every hour I know other trackers do this as well it was an indication to me that it's like hey Morgan you're already doing this you're already on track keep it up like great lifestyle great habits whatever so it was very reassuring to me at first I thought I had those notifications turned off but it just so happened that I didn't get them because I didn't need them and then once I do need them it'll still tell me right for the comfort the feel all of that honestly it's great I think it looks cute it doesn't look too chunky if I put on other rings it still looks nice it's a cute accessory and it doesn't look like a fitness tracker and that's like one of the main things I liked about it you know you can buy a fancy Apple watch band for example but you still have that bulky screen so I really like that I really like how it looks of course if we compare it to a little little banded ring you can see obviously it's a ton thicker it's a ton bulkier but it really doesn't protrude out of my finger that far and it is kind of crazy that all that it measures can be in such a small device like I said I would prefer gold but it was really just so 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 much insanely cheaper to get silver and I'm not unhappy with it at all I like mixing metals and I think it's cute to wear it every day it is like so much lighter weight than you would ever expect like, it's, it's really light. It's not heavy at all. It's probably lighter than a good amount of my earrings, honestly. And it really is high quality in the fact that it's still so shiny. It's not dinged up at all. Of course, I used that sleeve when I worked out. But in daily life, I did not have the sleeve on. It seems super durable. Like, it's actually a nice quality piece of jewelry as well. I do think it's a tiny, tiny bit too tight. My index finger is definitely my chunkiest finger. And I tried on the ring sizer 7. I was worried it was too tight. I tried on the 8 and I was like, oh my gosh, the 8, way, way, way too big. However, when I take this one off, I do have a little bit of a dent and a mark. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't feel like my circulation is being cut off or anything, but it is just a little bit too tight. I also kind of like the flat surface on this version, the cheaper version, because it helps you make sure your ring is on right. And it barely looks flat at all. Like if you didn't look super up close, you would just think it's a basic rounded band. It really seems super, super durable, which is reassuring and very nice. Again, I'm only one week in but so far I am happy I purchased it. The aura ring is definitely a luxury not a necessity. I really really do love having it so far but remember you don't need everything so just a reminder. I do really like it and it's a good reminder to me to work on my sleep because I don't prioritize that enough and I keep telling myself weeks and weeks on end like Morgan you need to fix your sleep and I still haven't done it so this is my sign to finally work on it. It does send me a reminder to get ready for bed at night which I do really really like and I know you you can program that into your iPhone, right? That's not like a crazy outrageous feature, but I like that about it. If you have any questions about the Aura Ring at all, please comment them. I will answer them, but also I want to do a month update video or even a two month, like 60 days. We'll see how much I gather and what I learn about it. And it, when I have enough to share, I want to do another update of me having it longer. So comment any questions that you want answered in that next video. Subscribe, make sure you follow along so you can see that one when it comes out because it will be coming and I'm excited to film it. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe if you've not and I hope to see you in our next one.